Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're gonna talk about uh, some upcoming features in Flex Utility Premium. Um, I'm pretty excited about this one. We've got some cool new things that we can do um, with the overlay button and block log. So let's start with the overlay button. Um, some new features that are coming for that. So I'm gonna hit Always Show so that I'll keep my button on the screen. Uh, go to Theme Options. And you'll see here we have a button y-axis. Um, so what that's gonna do is, I'll just show you what it's gonna do actually. So get a but button y-axis, um, and I'm gonna change it to, the default is 300, I'm gonna change it to zero. Press okay. Uh, now you'll see that it uh, moved down here at the very bottom of my screen which is pretty cool I like it at zero because um, then it will just like be right over the refresh button so uh, this way you don't really have to worry and it still refreshes and all that even though it's over it um, so this is pretty cool like you don't have to worry about um, accidentally clicking a block which I do a lot, especially with this little button, I'll accidentally click a block that's right by the button and if I have independent swipe on, it will uh, accept it on accident. So it's pretty cool to have it at zero. You can also change it um, to be higher, like 700, brings it uh, right there, put something like uh, uh, 3000 in. I don't know what the max of my, the top of my screen is. But you can put whatever in, like a, a large value, and it'll just go to the very top. It's not going to go um, off the screen. Okay, let's set it back to default 300. So that's the default. That's where your button's going to be if you just leave it at the default. Um, and then we have a new button theme, Stealth, right here. Going to click that. Going to press the check. Now we have the stealth theme. You can't see it at all until you press it. So obviously it's supposed to be a stealth button. So it's uh, not visible unless you're actively pressing the button. Uh, and I like to put this, I like to use this one, put it at zero. So it's gonna be right over refresh. So like you know where it's gonna be. You don't have to like guess, you know, it's gonna be right over refresh. So you just come in here, tap, tap, tap. Um, and then, let's see if I have my block log on. Uh, yeah. So now we have some new things in block log. Let's go there. Um, you'll see the layout is a little different. Um, and the the uh, the best thing about this new block log is we're using SQL Lite, which is uh, an Android database. It's a way to save things and load things. And it's like, you know, you can do a lot with the, the data that you have saved, like organize it um, in all kinds of advanced ways. And you can do it uh, easily. Um, before, BlockLog was using a different library, JSON. Everything was saved in text format. And uh, in order to, to sort things, in order to um, get the data back, to show it, we had to go through all the text and a whole lot of complicated stuff um, with a database with SQLite. <clears throat> some of you might be familiar with that. Um, it's it's just way easier to organize and store and keep track of uh, the block log. So um, here's the block log. It's logged all the all of these blocks visible on my screen. Um, I'll go ahead and scroll down and. It should log some more blocks, and hopefully it'll get the uh, right date, 416, for those blocks. Um, go in there, go back to block log, refresh. So you'll see I have my uh, 416 blocks here. I just logged all these. Um, let's see if those are right. 1230, 1245, 1. 1230, 1245, and 1 for my 416s. Okay, so... Um, one thing you can do, long press on a log, you can edit the edit option, and that's to edit the block date because every once in a while, 
the block log will log the date incorrectly. Um, and that's just because um, it's kind of complicated and difficult to get the date for a block because you'll see sometimes, like right now, we have two dates. Uh, we have Monday 415 and uh, Tuesday 416. And the location can change, especially after you uh, refresh the app. 416 is going to go all the way down. So it's a little tricky to get the date correctly every time. Uh, block log is pretty good at getting it right. Um, I think even with this new block log, it's even better now. But block log can log the wrong block date. And if that happens, and if you notice it, you can just long press a log and edit the date. Um, and you can also come in here and uh, leave notes if you would like to. Like, uh, let's say this block here, to the top block. Uh, let's say I was trying to get that block. I swiped it and it said, uh, sorry, this block has been taken. So I could come in here and I could say, you know, I missed this block. I could put, mark it as missed, something like that. And then you'll see now it says uh, missed. Right. So you can leave a little note there or just edit the date. That's fine. Um, another cool feature with the new block log is uh, probably one of the nicest new features is you can uh, filter the log. So see, do I have all DPD ones? Yeah, so I have all the same stations, but you can filter by station. Uh, for example, I'll just put UOR1 uh, and press filter. And it says found no logs with this criteria because all my logs are currently DPD1 blocks. You can also filter by pay. Um, so let's do 54. You can put in 54. You can put in a dollar sign if you want, uh, but you don't have to. Put in 54 and filter. And now you'll see my block log is only showing blocks that are logged that are uh, 54 dollars the dollar amount right 54 uh, I think I might have some 63's 63 dollar blocks log let's go ahead and try to filter that yeah so you'll see I have two <coughs> uh, <coughs> excuse me I have two 63 dollar blocks logged so I can filter those um, uh, pay filter for the block log does not have greater than check right now. Um, when I release this update, it might. I'm not sure. Um, then you can also filter by block date. So I have some 415s. I have some 416s. Um, and I on this one that I put missed, I wonder if that will mess it up. Let's do... Um, Let's do 415. So I'm not, I only want to see blocks that are on four. And that's the format you need to put in. It'll say up here, uh, enter date, format, month, day. You just put it in like it's logged right before slash 15. I only want to see those. And yeah, so it did, it even showed me the one that I changed. So, so if you're going to come in here and edit and leave a note, you probably want to keep uh, the date there for filtering. Um, or yeah, and then so I also have 416. So I only want to see the logs that are for 416, and I have four of those. So yeah, um, remember somebody requested a while ago to be able to filter the block log, and it should just be a feature, anyways. Um, so now finally able to do it with the new SQL Lite block log um, and with this with using SQL um, it should be way more efficient way more reliable um, definitely more efficient than what we were using previously so you can also long press on an individual block and uh, to delete Come in here and delete, and you'll see it's uh, the old ones just slide in its place, or the uh, the ones that are still there, right? Just slide in its place. Um, so you can delete individual logs. 
Um, also, when filtering, say, come in here, do 54. Um, if you want to change it back, like to reset to see all the blocks, just come, just press the refresh uh, button down there. That'll change it back to where you're seeing all of them. Um, and then you can come up here <clears throat> and delete all the logs. Uh, press yes, and now it says deleted five logs, and you deleted all the logs. No logs found. I'm gonna go back here and come back to block log, press refresh, and now you see once again it has logged the blocks. Okay. Um, I think that's everything that's new. Um, uh, people were requesting to be able to select uh, multiple filter selections, like say you uh, don't want to use just one filter, you want to use two, like station and hours, right? Um, I don't have that implemented right now. That actually um, complicates things a bit to be able to determine uh, which ones to use, which ones not to use, especially when you have so many options. Um, but I definitely do want to add that at some point. Um, yeah, but yeah, the uh, the new block log features and the new overlay with stealth button um, and the ability to raise and lower the overlay button. All right. Okay. Uh, update should be soon. Um, and I appreciate it. Thank you.